In today's video, I got back six epic cards from PSA. What's up guys, we're back with another PSA return. We recently had a 100 card return. If you've missed that one, go check it out. That was a super fun return. We got a lot of really good cards. And this one, I have some really high end stuff that I graded. A lot of it was pulled on the channel. Some of it was bought on the channel. So you've seen probably most of this stuff before, but you've never seen it graded. And I'm hoping that these grades turn out really well. This box was actually lost for a couple of days, but it turns out it was just at my post office. They just didn't actually put it in my PO box. So fortunately we did find this order, but I almost lost the cards from PSA, which would have been really rough. That's never actually happened for, with PSA for me. So this would have been like really bad, but fortunately I reached out, everything was good. Uh, they said, just check with the people at the post office. So I went in, I waited for an hour at the post office, as you guys know how it works at the post office. Eventually they looked in the back for like, 20 minutes or something maybe not that long i don't know they eventually found the box and i was like thank goodness we have our cards we can do our psa video so before we actually get into it i have a giveaway i'll be giving away these two cards a db1 big show garda and a first edition dark ruler hades just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications and let me know down below which is your favorite card from this submission and which one would you have been the most sad for me to lose hey guys what you are not at my last what not stream Fear not, there's another stream upcoming. Thursday, June 1st at 5 p.m. Central. We have done some insane giveaways and sold some awesome stuff on Whatnot. I've given away over $3,000 in cards and we've opened some insane packs and sold some awesome singles. Why should you join Whatnot? Because Whatnot is an awesome live streaming platform where you can buy, sell, or just simply view live streams of people opening products, selling things such as cards, shoes, and other collectibles. You can find my show just by clicking the link down below, which will give you $15 for free with your first purchase on Whatnot. Then go to the search bar search ruxin 34 you'll see my profile click on the shows tab then save the show for the shows that i have coming soon we've done some amazing streams on whatnot so i hope to see you there june 1st at 5 p.m it's gonna be pretty amazing thanks again to whatnot for sponsoring this video all right i got the cards out of the sleeves because i don't really love the the sleeves they send them in they're like they're pretty cheap but it's nice that they send them to keep them protected but i just like to you know when we show the cards it's nice to have those off so i never know if we should go from the back card or the front card probably the back into the front i don't know which one to go let's just go with the first this one looks like a new card that makes me think this is the red eyes dark dragoon which was a starlight rare that i sent in this appears to be newer it's definitely not any either of the dads because we had two ulti dads in here that was going to be devastated if we lost those that was going to be a huge bummer this is probably yes the dragoon you can tell by the back we have a red eyes dark dragoon so i have had a few of these for a while and i decided you know what let's send one of these in this thing is a little bit OC, but it is a really nice card. So we're going to see if maybe the OC is, you know, being the only thing, it's not too OC. Can it sneak by and get that 10? I think it is a little bit off centered. It will probably get the nine, but I think there is a chance that it could sneak through with a 10. It is really hard to see centering on these starlights because they're so shiny, like especially with like the fusion in the border. And it looks very similar on some of the parts, so it can be hard to tell. So I'm hoping that that happens with the grader and we get a 10 on this thing. I am going to predict that we get the nine though, but I think there is a chance with it being really clean, we could get the 10. I picked a nine on this. I think, and I thought that it had a chance at a 10. Centering was a little bit shifted this way, which it's really hard to tell on these cards. So I was hoping that they that would maybe help me out and you know help out with the centering. I think it was a pretty nice card. I think it could have got a nine. Let's just see what it got. Yeah, I got the nine. Okay, so the centering I think is what did it in. I guess they were able to tell through all the shininess that it was in fact a little bit off centered. All right, so uh, that's okay. That was probably the least valuable one. This one, wait, what card is this? Hmm, this one, I'm not sure what card this is. Definitely not an ulti, so it's either the Ancient Fairy Dragon, which is probably what it is, or the Gaia, I think. And then, wait, didn't we have another card? Or Night Assailant. Yeah, Night Assailant. Okay, this one I predicted a 10. Now we have a Night Assailant. This is a Champion Pack 1 Night Assailant. We did pull this, I think, in the 20K special. If you guys have not seen that video, it's the same video we pull, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. It was an absolutely insane video. And uh, this card is really nice. It's straight from a pack that I opened. Card looks really good. It's a super rare. I think it has a chance at a 10. There might be like some very light scuffing on the back. I really can't tell, but yeah, like a couple of dots, but this is probably a PSA 10 candidate. I'm gonna say it's PSA 10 because the centering on it's really good as well. 
I think it maybe gets a nine just because sometimes you get nines, you don't know why, but I think it's a 10 and I think it should get the 10. So we'll see if the nine assailant champion pack one really rare pack can get that 10. So I was feeling good about this champion pack card. This would be pretty sick. It's I think one of the ones we pulled in our 20K special. So yeah, like 180K subs ago. That was that long ago. I finally graded it. I thought it looked really good for a long time. It just sat in a binder. So it looks really, really nice. I didn't see anything wrong with it. I was thinking PSA 10, but you never really know. The back looks super clean. That's why I thought it maybe was new. There's a little bit maybe scuffing right there. Slight, slight scuffing. All right, let's just see what it got. I mean, I predicted a 10. Hopefully I'm right. So far, I'm one for one. Let's see. Yes, let's go. Night Assailant, super rare from Champion Pack 1. That is amazing, guys. Wow. That is awesome. So this card was a PSA 10 sitting in a binder for like, uh, who knows how long, but that's pretty awesome that it graded a 10. Champion pack one, 20K special shout out. If you've missed that video, you probably have it because it's one of my most viewed videos. Go watch it, it's insane. I mean, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, that's the same video. Yeah, it was a good one. That was a nice assailant right there. Huh? Huh? Okay, that was bad. All right, next, let's see. Is this gonna, yep, definitely a dad. One of these, one of the two dads here. So one is more centered than the other. So I had a prediction of a 10 on one and a nine on the other. So I'm hoping that they don't kill me for just the, how the ulti looked. Because I have seen sometimes where the ulti is like, you know, the back's a little bit wavy just because the new ultis like weren't super quality compared to the other ones. They kind of had some weird stuff going on with the back. So I hope they didn't kill me for that. Let's see. This one is Dark Arm Dragon. This might be the more off centered one. Let's see. I mean, honestly, it's not bad, but yeah, it's the other one was like perfect. This one's a little bit more off centered. Service looks great. Back looks great. It just has that same old, same old ulti stamp, like wavering in the middle where the tech or where the artwork is. But honestly, looks really good. I think this one, they're probably not going to give me two tens. I'm going to guess that this gets a nine. The other one gets a 10. Hopefully it gets a 10 though and sneaks through, but I'm going to go nine on that one. Is this the centered one? It looks kind of centered. I don't know. It, it's not like perfect or anything. I hope this is the worst one because if it is, that'd be great. Uh, cause if the one's better than this, I think it will definitely be nice and centered. Okay. I, I don't even know what to expect. Cause you never know with these newer ulties, like you know, the new style ulti, at least, you know, they, they, they somebody could look at it and be like, ah, oh, it's, you know, got a wavy back or it's got something going on with the corner. It just looks a little different. So I don't know what to expect. I'm really hoping a nine, uh, nine on one and a 10 on the other. Let's see what this one got. Come on. A nine. Okay. So we got a nine. I hope this was the worst one. It's definitely off-centered, so I'm thinking this was the off-centered one, and that's good news, because if it only got a nine because of the off-centeredness, I think the other one will get a 10 because it didn't have the off-centeredness and they didn't do anything based on the back, which the back looks super clean to me and definitely should be a nine, I think, so that's really nice. PSA nine on our Dark Arm Dragon. We pulled two of these in one video. Go watch that video if you haven't seen it. It was insane. I mean, Dark Arm Dragon's an awesome card in Ultimate Rare. Hopefully, we got a 10 on the next one. Okay, so these cards both looked pretty good. I think one of them was more centered than the other a little bit i'm hoping that we get we have both so hopefully we at least get 110 the back has this going on which is just like what happens with the newer ultis like the new style ulti they kind of have this like wavery looking kind of thing but there's absolutely no scratches on the thing this thing it's like literally completely mint it just has like that weird look to it centering looks great on this card i think it should get a 10 but i've seen cards with that like ulti back on them getting like sixes before so i really don't know what to expect i think it should be a 10 will it get the 10 it might get the nine maybe even a six who knows but i'm gonna go with 10 let's be positive let's be confident and see if i'm right uh centering is it better yes this one is definitely the centered one okay come on everybody in the comments right now dad 10 in the comments Come on, send the luck because this thing is way better in terms of centering. Oh, the back looks good. The front looks good. Wow, this is nice. Oh, okay, maybe a little bit of like something right there in the middle. I'm really hoping this is a 10. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. No, two nines. No, why? Why is it a nine? The centering is definitely better here. So it must have been something besides the centering. No, not like this. I don't see it. It looks so good. Maybe it is that thing in the middle. Is there something in the middle there? That's so slight though. I don't think that would be it. Oh, oh, the pain, the suffering. Both of our dads got nine. That hurts real bad. All right, unfortunate to say the least. This is the Gaia right here. This is the LOB Gaia. We have a Gaia the Dragon Champion. I really don't know where this card came from. Uh, it was in one of my binders and I'm like, okay, I guess this card looks really good. So LOB First Ed, this is a pretty hard one to get in PSC 10. There's not a lot in the pop report. I don't remember the exact pop report number. We'll pop it up on the screen. Uh, pop report, pop up, get it. Uh, the back has a little bit going on like 
slight, slight stuff, like a couple scratches. I don't think this one's gonna get a 10, probably. The sh centering's shifted that way. I'm hoping that we get the nine, though. I maybe it could get an eight if the they see more scratches, like with better lighting and stuff, and then the centering's not completely perfect, but I'm gonna guess that we get a nine. I think it's gonna be a really nice card. Uh, either way, even an eight is not, like, terrible, terrible, but first dead LOB secret rare. I mean, these are really, really rare at this point, so if we get a nine, I'm gonna be super happy, and that's what I'm going for. Uh, if this gets a nine, I'm gonna be really happy with that. Secret rare, first edition, first ever secret rare, this and the Trihorn Dragon. Technically, the Trihorn's first, it's zero 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 um but still i mean this card looks insane in glossy print you can really see the gloss on the uh the card stock here looks really really good no wavy guy unfortunately i mean there's a couple of them out there somewhere but i don't have one give us a nine yes a nine guy the dragon champion that's sweet first edition lob i once created a psa 10 of this card and traded away for like some really awesome cards like ced bls first edition psa 10 summon skull and i think vampire lord yeah i, I probably lost that trade but i still don't regret it because those were good cards but we got a nine now that's pretty sick guy the dragon champion beautiful beautiful card all right that's sick here we are ending with the ancient fairy dragon this is the ghost rare we picked up out of a collection recently ancient fairy dragon ghost rare first ed we have graded a psa 10 of one of these before i'm hoping to do it again this one's actually in better condition than the one we got a 10 on the one we got a 10 on had like flawed corners which happens a lot with uh ancient prophecy not ancient fairy but i guess ancient fairy too because it's from ancient prophecy the front looks great. The back looks amazing on this card. Let's see. They probably have some slight corner issues, if you can see that. Like, I mean, all these corners always have a little whitening from uh, Ancient Prophecy, especially the Ancient Fairy Dragon. It's really just this corner. But the rest looks incredible on this card. I think we have a PSA 10 candidate here. Centering, we got to look. It's probably a little bit off. I think it's maybe slightly that way, but you can barely tell. And look at the foiling on this. This card looks insane. I mean, there is no scratching, basically. Maybe a couple of slight pr like print lines. You could nitpick this card down to a nine. You could say the back corner is like not completely perfect. There is like a, maybe a print line there in the foil somewhere. Uh, centering is not 100% perfect. So you could like nitpick it down to a nine, but I really think this is a 10 caliber card, which is why I'm sending it in. I'm gonna go nine because I think it's, I mean, getting a 10 on these ghost shares is so hard, but I hope I'm wrong. Uh, this is the one that I thought was super, super nice. It has corner ding right there. Almost every ancient fairy dragon you will ever see in ghost shirt will have a top corner issue. And this one has that. That's really in a little bit right there. That's about it for the uh, for the Ancient Fairy Dragon. And you might think, hey, there's no way this is getting a 10 with those. My other one that I graded 10 had worse corners than this. So if it's only those corners, then sometimes you can get away with it. Let's see. We have Ghost Rare, first edition. See if we can see any sort of scratches. Maybe there's some print lines in there. I think I predicted nine because like it's a Ghost Rare. You're not getting a 10 on it. But I would love a 10. It'd be great. The center is pretty awesome on this card. I'm expecting to get a nine because corners and like, I mean, the foil looks really, really good for a Ghost Rare. But there's just no way we're getting a 10. Let's just see. <laughs> okay, we're definitely not getting a 10. We're getting a seven. All right. Oh, all right. Maybe we should have lost this order. Oh, gosh. Got to be more print lines that I missed. I'm guessing that's what it is. Maybe there's a bend in here. Is there a bend on this card that I missed? There was a bend on that black rose. Remember, it was a slight bend. Maybe this the same thing happened here. And uh, that would that would make sense why I got a seven. But these corners certainly aren't enough to knock it down to a seven. So it's got to be something else. That one's sort of a mystery. But a lot of times when you get these weird sevens and sixes, it's some sort of bend that you've missed. And even if you have the card raw, it's hard to find. So, I mean, they are the professionals. So I assume that uh, they found something like that. They're not just going to give me a seven for nothing, I assume. But overall, not a bad submission. If the one of the dads had gotten a 10, I would say this was a success. But I mean, we got one 10 out of these six, which is really not bad for such high-end cards. We got a nine of the guy, Dragon Champion. That's a win. I feel okay about it. I mean, I'm not like punching the punch in the air, but I'm pretty happy. Uh, seven, not great, but you know, if you're going to get a nine, you're going to get a seven. Who cares? It's basically the same at this point. I want the tens, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more epic PSA content. Hope you guys have been enjoying Legacy Week. I think we're putting this at the end of Legacy Week for a little bit of extra PSA return fun. And uh, keep an eye out for those epic videos upcoming. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Stage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mehmet Gecko, and Thomas McClain. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll See you guys in the next video. Peace.